this project, we're going to learn how to use a mini speaker with an Arduino. The link to purchase this speaker is in the notes. Um, the Arduino is capable of producing various tones, and you can use the tone method to output these tones to the speaker. So we're going to use our touch sensor in combination with the speaker to produce different tones uh, based upon the pressure you apply to the sensor. And so if you're looking at the diagram here, the red wire of the speaker should be connected to the Arduino digital pin 8, and the black wire of the speaker should be connected to um, the Arduino ground. So here, here's the red wire going to 8, and the, the black wire here connects to ground, right? Um, the other, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, so then that's the that's the speaker setup. The touch sensor should be set up as it was in the last tutorial with one leg connected to a resistor, right, um, which goes to the ground. Then the same leg should connect to um, analog pin A0, right? That's how we read um, the, how, what the pressure how much pressure is applied, that's how we actually get our reading, right? Uh, the other leg should connect to the Arduino 5 volt, right? So um, here's the pin going to A0 and via resistor going to ground, right? And then um, this pin here, uh, the other leg, I should say, is going to the 5 volt, right? Um, so if we look at the code, we see that we have um, four variables here at the top, one for the touch sensor, sensor pin, which is A0, right? Um, the speaker pin, which we have going to 8, and um, the FSR reading, which we will we'll read in um, during the uh, void loop part of the program, and the speaker map, which, is, which basically maps the um, inputs that we get from the touch sensor to tones um, for the speaker. All right, so we get the reading right here. Oh, I, I should say that we, in the setup, we're doing a serial.begin, um, and this allows us to see the um, information in the serial monitor, so we can see exactly what the readings we're getting, so we can see exactly the readings that we're getting. Um, in the void loop, we, you know, here we get the actual reading using the analog read method. Um, I'm not actually using this. I used that in the last one. In this one, I'm just going to be using the raw FSR readings, right? And then here's where we do the mapping. Um, so the, you'll notice when you touch the touch sensor, you get something between zero and a thousand. So we need to map that to the tones that can be produced, which are between 120 and 1500, right? So that, that map creates that for us. And this is the reading and it maps it to that. And then we just produce a tone with this tone method, telling it which pin, and then using the speaker map, and that will uh, produce it. Um, this is the the, you know, the sound level. Um, that's it. So when we run this, you know, save, connect, run, and you'll see. You may not be able to hear that. All right, so in this configuration here, I have the touch sensor. I have my speaker right here and the touch sensor over here. And you'll notice there's a little rapid little pinging noise. I don't know if you can hear that. But as I touch this, it should change the tone. Pretty cool. So as I add more, it changes the tone that's coming out. Pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Thanks. Subscribe and let me know if you have any comments.